the Draw I.O. interface and adding shapes. We can divide the interface into five areas. Menus, toolbars at the top, shape libraries are on the left, the format panel on the right, and the main editing canvas in the center. The format panel can be opened and closed via the view menu. The shapes library expanded and collapsed. There's also a full screen button to do both in one step. You know how menus and toolbars work. The shapes libraries are various groups of expandable, configurable shapes to use in the diagram. You click on section headers to expand and collapse them. When you hover over a shape, you get an enlarged view and the name of it. You can get shapes into the canvas in two ways. Just click a shape and it's placed on the canvas for you, or click and hold, drag onto the canvas, and release to pick where you want the shape to be placed. When the shape is placed, it is selected. You'll notice the right-hand format panel changed. The format panel is contextual. That is, it's dependent on what is or isn't selected. The toolbar and menu are also contextual. Options that are unavailable for the current selection are disabled. I'll just show you the process of saving. So let's put a really simple diagram in, then click Save and Exit. Note, there is an explicit save without exit in the file menu. Give the diagram a name upon saving, and please use useful names. They help later on. Back in page edit mode, if you click on the diagram preview that's been inserted, you'll see a bunch of options. Edit takes you back into editing the diagram. Edit macro pops up a dialog to give you options on the viewer that you'll see shortly. The defaults are usually good. You only need to get into here once you become a more advanced user. The four size options are very similar to what you get with images embedded in Confluence pages. Small, medium, large, and original size. Remove removes the macro, and duplicate duplicates it. Generally, I just go with the presets and save the page.